All right, I'm going to walk you through some examples on the second part of your homework here. Now, we are given two triangles, and they state what additional information is required in order to know if they are congruent based on these reasons. So for 11 here, you'll notice they'll give a side angle side, which means, okay, I know this side is congruent with this side, but I'm missing some information. There are a couple things I could use. Now, second, I would need an angle. So there are a couple ways I could go here. That means I could say that this angle and this angle are congruent. And now we need a side, which means I could say that these two sides are congruent. Now, why would this work? Side, angle, side. Side, angle, side. That shows that these are congruent based on they have corresponding sides that are congruent, corresponding angles that are congruent as well as a second set of corresponding sides. So that's uh, what we're looking for in these examples. I'll show you another one. Now in this case, again, it's side, angle, side. In this case, we're given two sides, but no angles. Now remember, you want an angle that can go between these two sides. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm going to go to the second set of, uh, to the second triangle here. I'm going to make this congruent as well. Because what that shows me now is I can go side, angle, side. And then, same here, side, angle, side. So you're basically looking to fill in some blanks here. Let's try one at side, side, side. Ah, oh, excellent. All right. So now we need to prove that there are three congruent sides. We know there's one here. Hmm. I'll put two ticks here. I'll prove that these two sides are congruent. And guess what? This third side here, it's shared. It's shared by these two triangles. So I definitely know it's congruent because it's the same side for both triangles. So you'll notice this works because I can go side, side, side. Whoops. There we go. I'll walk you through another one. Oh, side, side, side. These are nice and easy. Boom, boom. Now I can prove side, side, side. Now for a side angle side, let's try this one. Ah, this one's a little trickier. Now you'll notice that we have side, angle, nothing here. Side, angle, nothing here as well. Now the key is we want corresponding sides to be congruent. So what I can do is I'm going to put two tick marks here because that will now give me enough information. Side, angle, side. Same thing here, side, angle, side. So that's what we're looking for here. Essentially, you're trying to fill in the blanks. They only give you some information, and then you fill in the rest. I'll give you one more for 17 here. Now we got side. Nothing here, but then we have a side that's shared. So we need an angle that will connect these two sides. So if I make this one ring, guess what? Side, angle, side. Hopefully this helps you with your homework tonight and helps you be able to tackle similar problems like this.